Hi friends, this is David Gaum in the Stained Glass Studio and on this video we're going over some very important information. In fact, I would call this fundamental foundational information. Now what do I mean by that? Well, um, if you're just interested in stained glass and you're wondering if you ought to have a piece, this information is very important to you. If, on the other hand, you're a new person who's just learning about stained glass, the same thing is true. You're going to want to see all of these different methods of hanging stained glass. And, of course, if you're an expert, you might just find this little uh, primer interesting and you might learn something that will be helpful in your endeavors. So for all of us, it's going to be a very informative little video tour. All right. Well, for no particular reason, we're going to start out with how we install in cabinet doors and wooden frames and casements. And so uh, here's uh, an example of some doors that we did, and would, I just had to put that up because they're just so gorgeous. Now, um, we're going to move right on to uh, some grapevine designs that we did for a client to replace all of his kitchen cabinet doors. The first thing we did is we put in a silicone, a silicone foundation, then we slid the stained glass in and then put another layer on top so that there was, it kind of forms a, I don't know, like a gasket that keeps the glass from ever touching the wood. Now here's a speeded up version of what I did to put glass in the top of a jewelry box. Same kind of principle and you'll see I'm just going to put some silicone into the groove there. I've already checked it for fit and here we go. We put the glass in and that's pretty much it. And, the, and this is common for most casement type uh, installs. Okay, now we're going to show the most common method, and that is hanging stained glass. You know, we do this all the time, and many people have. Here we start out with a, a wooden framed glass piece. Uh, we're hanging it from chains, and there it is. There's a bunch of them. Now, one of them, you'll notice, is metal framed and uh, we hang it in the same way that we do with a wooden framed stained glass we're gonna go ahead and show you some here's some that are metal framed they work well but they just don't have quite as finished a look however they're really good for you know versatility you can hang them and you can also install them in different applications. So they're a good method. Here's one that we have that's also encased in the quarter inch outer bar and hangs from the little rings. Now the next method is great. Um, and it's very common and we use it quite often and this is inserting stained glass into an existing frame or casement. Now here's a window that's way up high. This was a total of 19 panels that we built specifically to fit within the existing framework that was already there in this entryway. It would have been very expensive to have to take everything out. Here I'm 
putting a piece in and it's uh, it's pretty easy to see how it goes in the way it, it just flops in there and pushes right up into the space and then I have to you know jack it up a little bit so that it's raised up so that we have the same amount of spacing both top bottom and side to side and then I go ahead and put silicone in around the window sometimes we have to put tape to hold the window in place while the silicone dries but once it's uh, that silicone is dried it holds things in place really well in fact here I'm not using silicone I'm using a, a caulking because I just don't need to to do anything um, any any uh, stronger you know and it, it's cleaner it's easier to clean up and now here's one where the casement goes right through the wall this goes from the dining room into the bathroom. It was a dark spot in their dining room and they wanted to get some of the light and the only place outside was the bathroom wall and so they had a contractor open up a space and then we just installed it in, in there. And now here is the last piece. This piece is caulked in place but it's just resting on the lip of the existing glass. So that's kind of a, a different method of getting it in there. Okay. You can take two pieces of tempered glass and put them on either side of a piece of art glass and create an insulated unit which is what we did here. And these guys that window monsters are going to do the install. There are many times that we've done this type of install and they can be complex, they can be easy. Uh, surprisingly it's only around $300 extra for the insulated unit but uh, here's the guy putting it in place um, chalking it around. There's somebody inside putting their hands through to keep it, f to help him set it, and there it went down into the track, and now he's going to be able to get it right in place. They have this really strong tape that once they get it in place, they pull off the backing. It sticks really well. This is always a scary uh, type of install because tempered glass can't be ground, it can't be shortened, you can't make it smaller. It, it's uh, Once you've cut it, you've, it's there. And there it is, in place, and now he'll be able to move his tape and it'll be sealed very nicely. Alright, well thanks. I hope this has been an enjoyable piece of information. I hope that you've enjoyed the video. I hope that uh, you'll consider watching the rest of our videos and uh, you know joining us on Patreon and liking and subscribing to our channel. Um, we love stained glass. Jeannie and I enjoy working on stained glass, talking about stained glass, and sharing the information that we have with you. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time.